Hi YouTube, it's me Ryan Holly once again, and welcome to my channel, YouTube user PB70CDOEM. What we are going to be doing today is unboxing not one, but two Packard Bell software collection boxes. These were, um, for a 1997 ish model Packard Bell and um, I need to grab my little pocket knife really quick like so we can get through the plastic this was actually an um, item I found on eBay I uh, talked to my mother about it but didn't go into too much detail um, but thank you, Mom, for buying this for me and giving it to me as a Christmas present. I greatly appreciate it. Here is the back. It shows a um, certificate of authenticity for Windows 95. The keys do not matter. It is abandoned wear. And um, here's the other one here. It doesn't really have a lot on the back. We can see right here that the seal has not been broken. So, I should take a couple still photos of this. Because I actually am starting to get to know um, Windows Movie Maker on the more modern computers a bit better, and I'm getting to know it. I think I'll go ahead and stop the video, but the video will still play as I upload it because I put more than one video together into one. The plastic is a little um, torn right here and some of the paper is a little bit worn down, but not much and I personally am not too bothered by it. But. Without further ado, well, before we continue on, I'll be right back in just a little bit. Alrighty, we are back. Um, I have my camera mounted to my tripod so that I can actually hold it with my legs. It's a little complicated to explain, but I actually do got some skill. I took a few still photos of the boxes here. So, <clears throat> now, without further ado, we will go ahead and begin with the big one. Be really careful doing this. myself or actually damage anything with this pocket knife. I do take responsibility when using these tools, kinds of tools. I've never gotten in trouble with them before. Um, back in my high school and some of my middle school days, I um, would actually ask before I used them. Permission. I would actually ask my dad if it was okay and he would say as long as I'm careful and I told him no problem. This is just yeah might put some scotch tape on there. Microsoft product identification card. This is license agreement from the 90s and um, I'm gonna take one more still photo hang on be right back and we're back once again <laughs> alrighty now, without further ado for the first time in 20 plus years, excuse me, sorry about that. As 
This box is coming open. <laughs> the funny thing about it is... Um, YouTube user Tweeterman actually um, did a Windows 3.1 unboxing long time ago. A really long time ago. And he, um... was thinking of this being like a time capsule. He'd be like, when he unboxes Windows 3.1 or 3.11 software on diskettes for his laptop. It was a long time ago. Going like, wow, is this? So, yeah, same with me. Is this, be like the CD's going, is this the year 1997? No, it was 2021. What? Yeah, we're already at Microsoft Windows 10. Excuse me, Windows 11, I... Correction. <laughs> Anyways, um... We have Windows 95 Companion with a CD sampler within. And, um... What is this? Third Dimension. I think this might be my first physical copy of this game. Although, I've never played it before. It's designed for the MMX processors. Sonic. Sega. You know, during my earlier elementary school days, one of my really good friends, his name is Tom, he's actually one of my YouTube subscribers, owned a Sega Saturn, and he and I actually played Sonic 3D Blast back together. And hi Tom, if you're watching my videos, how are you? Hope you're keeping safe, and hope you had a good Christmas. Anyways, we've got the Ultimate Human Body, version 2.0. Also, takes advantage of the MMX CPU. And, uh, Pod, P-O-D, two takes advantage of the MMX processors. And a lot of you will probably be familiar with um, Howie Mandel's Toonland from 7th level. This also comes with Sega's Echo the Dolphin. Yeah, Dolphin, I also think of the um, IBM... M-Wave sound and modem adapters because they use the word dolphin, stingray, and whale in their sound modem cards. That's not the subject of this video though. This one, we got a combo pack here. We have Dinosaur in the Garden, Little Engine, and um, Printmaster Gold for Packard Bell. And WoW, new online service from CompuServe. Well, old online service. Because, um, yeah, those internet services are history. They're old, outdated, abandoned wear, for that matter. And, yeah, those services are long gone. Okay, this is my first physical copy of Student Reference Library. From Mindscape, they created the um, Complete Reference Library program. And... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. We have a CD Extra. It's a music CD. I don't know how many of you are familiar with... Mariah Carey, um, she made her own version of a Christmas song. I, um, don't really agree with that. I like the older stuff better, but she's okay, at least for the most part. Sometimes I don't really know. I don't really know her that well. I don't do research or anything on her. And then we have Encarta 95, 6, Encarta 96, <laughs> correction. And, um, here's the, um, little, uh, 
publication pamphlet for Encarta 96. I thought it was a booklet, but it's actually a um, actual publication. Or one that you can fold and unfold. So there's that. Please register your products now. Online or by mail. Um, yeah, this is an old Microsoft registration card. Sometimes I wonder what the company of Microsoft would be like if I actually sent in some old Windows 95 software registration forms. Um, Tweeterman actually did that with his um, registration form for Windows 3.1, but he got it back and it said address not found. And Actually, I will confess, I did the same thing myself. And same results. That's what happens with old abandonware software. Oops. So, um, that's basically that for this particular box. Okay. Get these back in. I'm gonna go ahead and um, probably put it in this way because I might need to put a few pieces of scotch tape on there. I will be <clears throat> uploading these to um, <clears throat> the FTP, or FTP, what am I saying? Internet Archive account. I apologize about that. It's actually a little past midnight, and I'm having a bit of trouble sleeping at night, unfortunately. And, um... My head is a little sore, so bear with me. Okay, let's go ahead and um, break this seal and open up our second smaller time capsule. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this away now since we're done with it. No need to use it anymore. I want to point out that some CDs in this one might be the same as in the other one. Maybe. Actually, I think this one might be an early 1998, Windows 98. I'm not sure yet, though. Anyways, we have Microsoft Greetings Workshop. Microsoft in Carter 97, it might be a later 1997 version. I'm going to say so, because we got Microsoft Windows 95 Companion, with USB support, so that's OSR 2, 2.1. And we have The Great World Adventure and The Great Math Adventure by Howie Mandel. 7th level, and they're the creators of, um, Toonland, and, um, Genome from 7th level. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that <coughs> correctly or not. Ow, my head. I apologize about that. Damn it. Oh, sorry for the use of the language, but the battery on my camera is dying. So we're going to need to hustle up here. And another CD extra. And, um, 
Interesting card in 97 booklet. Greetings Workshop. And um, Packer Bell Software booklet. So, that is that for this video. And um, until next time, this is Ryan Hawley from my YouTube channel, PB70CDOEM. Signing off. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.